Na mtazamaji ni tarehe tatu mwezi wa 12 mwaka 2017. Hujambo popote pale ulipo na karibu kwa taarifa za mbiu weekend jina langu ni Mary Kilubi. Tupate vidokezo. Kenya imejiandaa kikamilifu kuandaa kongamano la kimataifa la mazingira kukabili tatizo la uchafuzi wa mazingira. Baadhi ya wakilishi wa wadi kutoka kaunti Elgeyo Marakwet watoa wito kwa Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kumteua waziri Henry Rotich katika baraza lijalo la mawaziri. Na mkutano wa walimu wakuu wa shule za msingi kufanyika Mombasa. Tatizo ni utekelezaji wa masuala kadhaa ya sera. Na mkaribu mtazamaji, Wizara ya Mazingira hii leo imeandaa hafla maalum kwenye msitu wa Karura ili kujadili mikakati ambayo inazingatiwa ili kushinda misitu humu nchini hafla hiyo ileta pamoja wadau mbalimbali kwemo rais wa kongamano la umoja wa mataifa balozi wa Uchina, Norway na Brazil. Hafla hiyo iliandaliwa huku kongamano la umoja wa mataifa la mazingira likiandaliwa kuanzia hapo kesho hadi Jumatano wiki hii jijini Nairobi. Good morning everyone. Is uh, our principal secretary, uh, ambassador of uh, Norway, who is also here with us. It's good to have you here. And uh, yes, yeah, Sally uh, Well, this forest was and remains dear to the late environmental crusader, our professor Wangari Mathai who dedicated a lot of her time and energy for its conservation and also for its protection. Her vision was that the forest remains in the hands of the public, a goal which she accomplished. And today, as the custodian of forests here in Kenya, I shall continue to maintain its status as a public forest as defined in the Kenya Constitution 2010 and also in the Forest Management and Conservation Act 2016. There can be no sustainable development without sustainable management of our forests. They are the lifeblood of our planet. 25% of the global population depend on forests for their livelihood. More than 80% of terrestrial animal species live in the forests and forests cover 30% of the Earth's surface. We can spend all day listing the benefits that forests provide, from preventing land degradation and desertification to reducing the risk of floods and other natu natural disasters. Unfortunately, year after year, forest coverage is disappearing. Some 13 million hectares of forests are destroyed annually. Na watu wanaoishi na ulemavu katika kaunti ya Machakos wajumuika na dunia nzima kuadhimisha siku ya ulemavu duniani katika sherehe ambayo iliandaliwa mjini Machakos mwenyekiti wa watu ambao wanaishi na ulemavu katika kaunti ya Machakos Kennedy Siocha alihimiza watoto kuacha tabia ya kuaficha watu ambao wana ulemavu na kuendeleza unyanyapaa akisema kwamba wakati mwingine ni mapenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu kadhalika ameitaka serikali kutoa ajira kwa watu ambao wanaishi na ulemavu jinsi in inavyohitajika kikatiba
Na sehemu ya wakilishi wa wadi katika kaunti ya Elgeyo Marakwet namtaka Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kumteua kwa mara nyingine waziri wa fedha Henry Rotich katika wadhifa wake wa sasa watakapokuwa wakiwachagua waki mawaziri ambao watahudumu katika muhula wa pili. Wakilishi wa wadi wanasema kwamba Rotich amekuwa mtiifu kwa utawala wa Rais Kenyatta. William Ruto, that uh, we will be very much proud as a county mm -hmm. if one Henry Rotich, the CS of Finance, is retained in his position. Because this is a gentleman who actually walked all the fallows and the hills of the county looking for forts with us in the village. And those forts, the 99% that we cannot, is not because of any other miracle. It is because he himself, without the professionals, came to the ground, talked to the people used all means, all the resources available, and that's how we got that position three in uh, the Kalenjin land in terms of forts. Tunajua sa hii, kama serikali naenda kuundwa, kuna maneno mingi, kuna wanyo wanataa kuomba kuingia serikali, na maybe atuchui sa hile uru na ruta wata unda serikali yao, atuchui atuna wakika kama wenye walikuwa watarudishwa, lakini si atuna... Atuna waziwazi chutunajua wenye, wenye walikuwa kifanya kasi pamoja, walikuwa kifanya kasi vizuri. Tumekuja hapa, tukiomba serikali, tafadhali. Atuangalilie rotich, kwa sabu kasi nye rotich alifanya, alitoka all the way from Nairobi, aliweka kasi yake kando, na akafanya campaign proper. Ufiti kama ange kuwa yeye, sidani kama elgeo mara kwa etikaundi ange toa 95%. Na wakati huo huo viongozi kutoka kaunti ya Tharakanithi wakijumuisha gavana wa kaunti hiyo Mudhomi Njuki wanamtaka Rais Uhuru Kenyatta na naibu wake William Ruto kuwakumbuka wataalamu wa kaunti hiyo wanapowateua mawaziri wao wanasema kuwa kaunti jirani ya Meru imekuwa ikifaidika pakubwa ilhali utawala wa sasa ulipata kura nyingi kutoka Tharakanithi So we are requesting in this place the president there has always been this confusion that we oh, we come from Meru region Yes, we agree we come from Meru region. And the Meru region is two counties. We have Meru County, we have the Rakanidi County. Meru County has held a cabinet secretary at even a time two or three since time in memorial from independence. Since time loud, we are really requesting that as a county, the Rakanidi County, let's get a cabinet secretary for once. Kutoka zamani, if you mtoto mdoku, lipuwa nasikia waziri ya gaine, Unakumbuka waziri ya kai? Yeah. Unasikia waziri kalueo? Unasikia waziri mungina likuwa naitua kirugi muto mukendia? Waziri kaimeni? Hata ni kiesamu. Tuleza vika za sita tunyesamu. Kwe? Yeah. Yeni mulataka kuniambia kutoka Tarakanidi County. Ambaya ni mulaka constituency. Mahala constituency. Na chuka ikapakombe constituency. Sisi atuna watu ambao wanaweza kuwa maministri. Si wako wewe. Na aliyekuwa katibu mkuu wa chama cha ANC Godfrey Otsotsi ambaye sasa ni mbunge mteule amewashutumu baadhi ya wabunge wa chama hicho waliotishia kuondoka kwenye mrengo wa NASA kufuatia uteuzi wa watakao simamia kamati mbalimbali mbali za bunge. Wakizungumza katika kijiji cha Muluanda eneo bunge la Funyula kaunti ya Busia, katibu huyo amekariri kwamba wabunge hao wako huru kujiondoa na kujiunga na mrengo wote wa kisiasa. Wabunge fulani ati wanaenda kusema huko Nairobi zati kwa sababu wajapata viti kwa bunge ati wanaondoka nasa muna kubali hiyo muna kubali hiyo ati juu mweshimuwa savula ambayo tunajua ni mutu wa jubili ati kwa vile wajapata kiti kwa bunge anaambia wenzake ati watoke waende jubili mweshimuwa bunyasi ambayo ni mweshimu Mze, pia na ee anajiunga na hiyo timu kusema kwamba wasipopata viti kwa bunge ati wanaenda jubili. Na wambia wakati huu waluya wamerevuka. Hatuta kubali mchezo tenu. Hatuta kwa tunaenda mbele. Viongozi wachache watama wanaturudisha nyuma.
we need to focus as a country na tukae chini watu waulizane where did we go wrong tusipoulizana hiyo swali ati tunajifanya everything is good na tunakava tunaficha chini ya carpet sisi wenyewe tutawachia watoto wetu a very bad legacy na tutakuwa tumeenda watoto wetu ndio watakuwa kiumia these things have to be sorted out now na sio kama si sasa hivi inaitangwa kama sio saa hii ni sasa hivi na seneta wa kaunti ya Nakuru na mbunge wa Bahati Kimani Ngujiri wamekiri kufanya kazi pamoja. Kimani uh, na kihika kwa mara ya kwanza baada ya uchaguzi walikiri hadharani kuwa tofauti walizokuwa nazo zimezikwa katika kaburi la sahau wawili hao walianza kutofautiana na kurushiana matamshi makali mwanzoni mwa mwaka wa 2016 wakati kihika alipotangaza rasmi kuwania kiti cha useneta katika kaunti ya Nakuru. Mvutano baina ya wawili hao ulishika kasi zaidi kwa ni Susan Kihika kando na kuwania ubabe wa siasa kaunti ya Nakuru ni mkazi wa eneo bunge la Bahati. Hata hivyo kwenye hafla ya kuchangisha hela kwa minajili ya shule ya upili ya wasichana ya Jomo Kenyata, wawili hao waliwashangaza wengi kwa kukiri hadharani kwamba wawili hao wameamua kufanya kazi kwa pamoja. Rais Uhuru Kenyata alituma mchango wa shilingi milioni mbili huku naibu wa Rais William Ruto akituma mchango wa shilingi milioni moja. wakati wa siasa lakini nikitafuta hii VC pia nilikuta strength amesaidia mashule sana na because of that i respect you a lot Idara ya magereza na wafungwa katika gereza la Naivasha wanataka kifungo cha maisha kifutiliwe mbali na wafungwa waliohudumu kwa zaidi ya miaka kumi na mitano wamerekebika waweze kusamehewa na kuachiliwa huru. Kulingana nao wafungwa wengi waliohudumu katika kipindi hicho wamerekebisha tabia zao. Matamshi hayo yalijiri huku zaidi ya wafungwa tatu katika gereza la Naivasha wakipikiwa chapati na wahisani na kujumuika kwa burudani. Uh, inmates are making several uh, requests um, and one of them uh, was um, for um, life sentence to, to, to be kind of you know, given a term like uh, 15 years or 20 years um, uh, really we are in support of that um, we, we are human beings they are human beings and uh, if something can be done really even now in other countries we, we know life sentence means a, a given time a given uh, period of time so uh, it's, it's our, our prayer that the you know, parliament you know, looks into it uh, life sentence could even mean 20 years 15 years uh, and i think that one will give them hope and uh, in fact after serving for like 15 to 20 years Um, really one has changed one is now ready, ready to join the society tapata kuona mtu amekaa gerezani sana kwa muda mrefu kama nilivyosema hapo awali kwamba mtu amekaa jela more than 30 years na bado akutu hapa 20 years 15 na bado mtu akutu hapa alafu mtu amekuja amefanya grade zote zile ambazo zinaweza kumsaidia huko raia so tunashindwa hizi vitu tufanye kazi na turekebike hivyo alafu zile satiki tutapata hapa zizaekee tu hapa jela si tunataka tuwe mfano mwema kwa wakenya pale tukishaachiliwa hapa at least tuende tulipe ushuru huko nje na tufanye kazi vizuri we are bringing chapati what we call chapati bonanza which is basically an early christmas for the inmates but it's much more than that for us it's an event that is going to open more programs in the coming year and so today we are here together with the community one to sensitize people about ending social stigma as far as the inmates are concerned and we also want to be part of the solution we are getting more and more inmates being released back into the community and reintegration has become a problem so for us we want to start the conversation with the public and with the members of the public that this is a rehabilitation institution and when these people come out of this place they are ready to be reintegrated with the community work together with the community and be accepted by the community na serikali ya Somalia na majimbo ya nchi inataka swala la watoto kutumiwa katika jeshi la uasi kushughulikiwa mara moja. Wawakilishi wakuu kutoka ngazi mbalimbali za serikali walikutana Kampala Uganda kwa madhumuni ya kupanga mikakati ambayo inalenga kuzuia usajili wa watoto katika jeshi nchini humo ambapo kuna mzozo wa uongozi. Amsom is doing this as part of its transitional arrangements. There as we transit from uh, uh, activities being managed and overseen by AMSOM 
we will actually prepare the Somali people to manage these programs by themselves. The purpose of this meeting is to uh, allow the various departments in the government of Somalia to learn to work together uh, alongside AMISOM and the military and police sectors so that the people of Somalia see their children protected, uh, in particular protected from use as child soldiers, which is, as everyone knows, a, a horrible abuse of children. As AMISOM, our aim is to have a smooth transition or exit strategy but we cannot just leave vacuum. We have to ensure that the federal government and federal member states continue to work together, especially with regards to dealing with the prevention of the recruitment and use of children as soldiers in the conflict in Somalia. We learned how to combat and control the effects of child soldiers. And we also came up with many ideas uh, regarding children soldiering and how children children can be produced or in the long term eliminated from the Somali context of governance. Na walimu wakuu wa shule za msingi kote nchini wameanza kuwasajili ama kuwasili mjini Mombasa tayari kuhudhuria kongamano la 13 la walimu wakuu wa shule za msingi kikao cha mwaka huu kikitarajiwa kufanyika katika ukumbi wa Sheikh Zaid Bombululu. Baadhi ya masuala ambayo yanatarajiwa kujadiliwa ni pamoja na utekelezwaji wa mfumo wa elimu ya bure kwa wanafunzi wa shule za sekondari. Mwenyekiti wa muungano wa walimu hao Sheikh Mdolo amesema kwamba kuna changamoto nyingi zitakazokumba mfumo huu mpya zikiwemo idadi finyu ya walimu ukosefu wa miundo msingi pamoja na uhaba wa vitabu is the books have not been put in place the infrastructure is still inadequate so we need to understand how this infrastructure will be put in place uh, the books and above all, our teachers have not been capacity built. And you cannot start a program without putting the teacher into the picture. Because the key persons in this reform is the teacher and the child. You can sit well and you can discuss in Nairobi, you can share ideas. But if a teacher is not, the attitude of a teacher is not changed, and above all, not, not capacity built well, then there's nothing that will transpire. Viongozi wa kidini katika kaunti ya Nakuru wametoa wito kwa Wakenya kudumisha amani haswa msimu huu wa sherehe za Krismasi na mwaka mpya. Viongozi hao walinena hayo wakati wa hafla ya kulisha zaidi ya watoto elfu mbili kutoka vitongoji duni mjini Nakuru. Viongozi hao wakiongozwa na mchungaji Mike Brown waliwakashifu na siasa na viongozi ambao wanaeneza jumbe za chuki na uchochezi. Matamshi ya viongozi hao yanajiri baada ya Kenya kuwa na siasa za aina yake huku uchaguzi ukirudiwa Oktoba Mwaka 26 mwaka 2017 mji wa Nakuru ulikumbwa na ghasia za baada ya uchaguzi na ndiposa viongozi hao wakaamua kuwalisha watoto kutoka mitaa hiyo huku wakishirikiana na wazazi wao katika kueneza ujumbe wa amani shughuli hii iliandaliwa katika kanisa la metro na litaendelea mwaka mmoja at the face of these children you won't know which tribe they come from so i'm calling for peace I'm praying for peace, and we must have peace in this country in Jesus' name. The Lord said this, that he brings peace, not as the world brings peace. You know, men try to solve peace by wars. Wars never solve peace. And men have tried to think money solves peace. But I'm telling you, the only peace that comes is from the peace giver. And so today, I clear this, I call this, and I call it right now, and I declare to the, the nation of Kenya, peace. Kampuni ya mawasiliano ya Safaricom ikishirikiana na shirika la kudhibiti ugonjwa wa sukari nchini pamoja na Wizara ya Afya walitoa huduma za afya bila malipo kwa wakazi wa Odhaya kaunti ya Nyeri. Akizungumza wakati wa kutoa huduma hizo za afya, msimamizi wa kampuni ya Safaricom eneo la Mlima Kenya Albert Mulai alisema kwamba shughuli hiyo itawagharimu shilingi milioni 27 na kwamba wanapania kutoa huduma kwa Wakenya takriban 1300 kote nchini. Mbunge wa Odhaya Gishugi Gishuki Mugambi na ni miongoni mwa waliohudhuria hafla hiyo na alisema kwamba hospitali kuya Odhaya itakamilika hivi karibuni na itaimarisha hudma za afya kwa wenyeji. Today this is a very great occasion for us. 
We are partnering a South, uh, Safari Comp Foundation with DMI and uh, the Ministry of Health in ensuring that we have one of our medical clinics amongst a series of about seven that are going to go around the country. In this particular event, uh, we are spending about 27 million and in the last five years in the medical camps that we run across the country, uh, we've been able to spend over 197 million. Uh, these events have been able to reach over 300,000 uh, citizens with their needs across the country. We believe uh, in bringing the communities together and we believe in being a sustainable and a responsible citizen. Safaricom uh, is currently running a theme around Tuaweza, which means when we come together, great things happen. We believe today we are living up to that theme. There is a lot of uh, problem, like in the area of Central Province, with the diabetes and other non-communicable diseases, hypertension, cancers, um, uh, and also other uh, many, many uh, non-communicable diseases. And we are telling our people, take care of what you are eating, eat healthy, uh, do some physical activity, uh, engage in more walking. Uh, do physical activity 30 minutes, four times a week, and we will be uh, in a better position with non-communicable diseases. The turnout, as you can see, is uh, very good. And uh, the more interesting thing is a mix. We have the old, we have the young, we have men, we have women. So it's a very good mix at the hospital. Uh, we must apologize to other people that it has taken that long for them to access uh, services from this hospital. Uh, but now we are almost there, we've all sat down with all the stakeholders and we have, gotten a, we have drawn a timeline, a timeline that uh, by next week all the contractors must get off site. We have uh, come up with timeline that all the equipment that are lying at Kemsa, others lying at CDF Odaya, must now be mobilized and brought on site so that the installation begins. Na mtazamaji katika marudio ya makala tembea Kenya tulitembea hadi kaunti ya Elgeyo Marakwet mwanahabari wetu Elvis Koskey alizuru eneo la Kerio Valley ambalo lina ukwasi mkubwa wa mali asili yenye kupendeza mbali na hayo watalii hucheza michezo ya kupaa angani paragliding pamoja na kupata buruda nitosha Jean Paul raia wa Belgiji alijipata katika taifa geni mwaka 1995 kipindi kile akija kuatizama wana riadha tajika nchini Kenya Ila tamaa yake ya kurejea alikokopolewa ilikatizwa na mazingira haya ya Kerio View na kuyapenda kwa mapigo ya moyo wake Baadaye akanunua kipande hiki cha ardhi na kuita Kerio View kutokana na upeo wake wa macho eneo ambalo sasa limejizolea sifa tele ambapo mwenye nacho na msinacho huja hapa kuchangamsha nafsi na kutabaradi and traveling through this valley a few times i was so impressed it was pure nature the road by then the tarmac road was not good but the off-road was so special, and I liked the way the people survive. And I thought, oh, here I can do something. Such a beautiful view. I'm still in love with it. Vinyago hivi vya wanyama waporini vitakupa mwanga zaidi kuhusiana na yali ojifumbata umundani ukumwenyeji wetu akitufichulia mengi kuhusiana na kirio view. No, for the area, I would like to that there are people who develop more cycling because we have the Kenyan riders around, and this is a fantastic group of people. Wana siasa tajika pamoja na wana riadha sifika kama vile David Rudisha, Ezekiel Kemboi, Julius Yego na Vivian Cheriot ni miongoni tu wa wageni wa Kerio View. Several 
ambassadors like US, like Ireland, like Greece, like Belgium have been here. So it means that we are not too bad. Kando na wanariada watali wandani na nje ya nchi usafiri hadi hapa kujionea kazi ya Mwenyezi Mungu. But we expect other paragliders even uh, African ones. Now uh, the paragliders found us. They they were traveling throughout Kenya maybe for 15 years. Yote tisa, kumi Jean Paul ana mipango ya kupanua eneo hili kwa kivutio kikuu duniani. When I meet people here I say chamoge. Yeah? And to you I say um kwaheri. Asante sana for the interview. <laughs> Elvis Kosgei, KT News, kwenye makala ya tembea Kenya, County ya Elgiomara mtazamaji hayo ndio tulioweza kukuandalia kwa taarifa zetu za mbiu wikendi na mtazamaji nenda zangu mwendo wa saa kumi unusu utapata marudio ya makala ya wako wapi ambapo hilo utapata zamu ya kumtazama mwimbaji wa wimbo wa dotcom lady ambaye anafahamika kama abedi fikia hapa mwendo wa saa kumi na moja mtazamaji utakuwa naye mkuu wa kitengo cha Kiswahili Paul na Biswa kwenye siasa za kanda na mwendo wa saa moja nitarejea kwenye studio na taarifa za Kate and Leo weekend ambapo mtazamaji hii leo tutakuwa naye kifimbo katika sehemu ya pili nususi ya jinsia endelea kutazama runinga ya KTN News mimi ni Mary Kilobi